Welcome to Steel Channel Sport this morning. And let's talk about um, you know what went down yesterday at the 67th People Congress. Big, big news, um, uh, Cecilia, when it came through. Um, yeah, you weren't <laughs> expecting it. Let's, yeah, let's be honest here. Yeah. And um, the, the story is that former, uh, the immediate past Chief Judge of Lagos State, Honorable Justice Ayasun de Phillips, has been elected as a member of the FIFA Ethics, Ethics Committee. That's you know, massive. If it's just a Thursday morning, we're talking about the fact that why would FIFA not renew you know, the contract of the, the likes of uh, Eckert and the others? Simply because they've been doing a wonderful job. Mm. But then, I think uh, Infantino had something cool up his sleeves and he feels, wow. okay, the tenant's over. He doesn't need to renew it. He wants new people from different, you know, from across the world and even pick an African, two Africans, one from South Africa and of course the major, Nigerian. Major and right deal. here, in a Lagos, uh, in former Chief Justice of Lagos State, Justice Ayotunde Phillips, you know, as wow. a member of FIFA Ethics Committee. So this is really, really huge. It's a huge. big, big deal, Cecilia. Justice Phillips' election, um, along with five others, uh, was ratified, uh, like we said, at the FIFA Congress, at the 67th uh, FIFA Congress in Bahrain on Thursday. She will serve as a member of the... Um, of the chamber uh, as well too and um, it, it's a major major news and um big deal yeah. for nigeria and africa deal. the only well. african in the, in the cabinet because i felt uh, you have others from south america you know colombia and Correct. everywhere american samoa but then she is the only one from africa and to note that the way the fifa have actually opened up when it comes to transparency and trying to bring credibility back mm. to it so they're actually picking those who are not even involved in sports at all you know to be able to right all the wrongs that was committed in the past so i mean one. yeah like you said this that i've not really been a part of the system, system. because we've talked about uh, the new era uh, for FIFA, and we've been seeing some really uh, interesting choices uh, yeah, from, um, you know, the FIFA led by Gian Infantino, Fatma. Uh, Samoa, you know. Yeah, we she, didn't see that coming. No way. Yeah, mean, she have sec a gen. secretary general, mm. and which it wasn't, I mean, it couldn't have happened before because she wouldn't even get to look <laughs> in at all. But right now, <laughs> you're having issues wow. like that, you know, having people of integrity that they're choosing. So for them to have been able to uh, choose a justice, I assume Phillips, it yes. simply means she is really, really highly respected. Oh, that's what it means. It, we're talking and about FIFA Ethics Committee, yeah, the, not just any other one. These are the guys that I mean, know, are in charge of, you know... Probing all the corruption charges and everything, unearthing uh, dirty deals and all that were done in exactly, the past. Exactly, you know, uh, making sure and, uh, you know, um, ensuring that people, you know, involved don't go, uh, don't fall foul of the ethics uh, code as well. So it's a big, big deal. Justice Ayotunde uh, Phillips is presently the chairman of the Lagos State Independent, Independent Electoral uh, Commission. Commission. So, um... What more can we say? Other yeah, than congratulations, to, congratulations her, yeah. to you and um, yeah, make Nigeria proud. Yeah, definitely. I know mm. she would do that. Now, talking to, still talking about the ethics the committee, committee, you know, yeah. I mean, Infantino has been reacting to what people have been saying, the media especially, because he feels the media is actually taking it out of context. Mm. I mean, just look at the truth, not the alternate truth. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you have Infantino talking about... He's the line of the... <laughs> the Trump guy, yeah. talking about fake news, you know. Yeah. The Trump now. What? You know, when you have, you know, trying to take the alternate truth, and not the real truth, but he feels. I mean, they should, those who write should always check the facts, especially mm. those who give them the information before they go on and publish. Because so, according to him, he's the most scrutinized person right now in the world. It's only right. Not even the American it's president. Only right. so every statement he made is being checked. Every decision he's taken is being checked yes. and checked over and over again to see. I remember we started saying, does it mean he had something to hide? Where we have to re remove those. Mm -hmm. who have been in charge and they have about close to 500 cases pending. Yes. So those are some of the issues that were raised. But then Fantino yeah. is trying to clarify everything, and saying that, look, just give us a chance. We're all really trying. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with the fact that it's been scrutinized a lot. I mean, this is supposed to be that new era for FIFA, so everything has got to be clean and smooth and, you know, no cobwebs and cupboards That's or right. anything like that. So it should be ready for, you know, the scrutiny. There's no issues with that at all. And, but for these... Um, you know, the decision that was made uh, for, for removing, uh, basically, uh, removing the former chief investigator, uh, Cornell Bobbley, and the former judge, Hans Joachim Urquhart, is basically saying the reactions uh, to this um, situation is a storm uh, in a teacup. So we're <laughs> overreacting. That's what it's saying, Cecilia. All right, let's listen to him now. These new members, so I don't think uh, uh, we should make a, a tragedy out of it on one way or another, um, who was saying to me tomorrow, this morning it's a storm in a, 
as we say it in English, a storm in a, in a teacup. In German, it's in, in, in a glass of water, in Wasser glass, huh? in a teacup. I think so. I mean, it's a process, and, the pro and processes, democratic processes, have, you know, to be, um, to be simply accepted by everyone, and, uh, and, and we go on, and, uh, and we work, and everyone works, and independent bodies will work, as it happened in the past, hopefully better than in the past, because we can all do better always. And, uh, you know, we are going forward with confidence. Uh, as to the, to the case as well, if that's maybe their opinion, um, I think it's a bit sad that uh, there are hundreds of cases pending and they have not been dealt with. I hope that these cases will be dealt with now. And for me, it's important that when you write uh, your articles, which is what you are doing, that you take into account, you know, really the facts and the actions that we do, that's the only thing I want, and that maybe sometimes you question as well those who are giving you some information, because I think we have seen many times that the information given uh, is not the right one, but is uh, uh, provided just to harm the organization. No, well, as far as I'm concerned, I certainly have no issue, uh, neither with Mr. Borby nor with Mr. Eckert, certainly not. Um, everything is open, is clear, is free, what I can do um, and what I do, what I do. I mean, I'm probably the most scrutinized person in the world, more or less, I think. Um, so that's certainly not an issue. All right, you heard it all from Gianni Infantino. You have no issues with the former members of the Ethics Committee. He feels it's time for changes because all the cases pending will still be reviewed by the current board. And of course, you have a Nigerian there. You know, if you may like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, that's it. And, uh, it is what it is. And uh, yeah. hopefully all the pending investigations are, you know, are concluded. And, yeah. you know, whoever is, um, you know, guilty or, or, or not. Prosecuted. Yeah, exactly. That's the way this is. Okay. So, media, just stop, stop the bashing. Um,